The British Supermarine Seafire was a naval version of the well-known Supermarine Spitfire. The Seafire was adapted for operation from aircraft carriers. By the end of the 1930s, there was a pressing need to replace the obsolete aircraft serving in the fleet air arm. There was some resistance to the idea of producing a navalized version of the Supermarine Spitfire, and the idea was dropped. But the concept was soon revived, since the available carrier-based aircraft proved totally obsolete compared to German and Italian fighters. The Hawker Hurricane had proved to be adaptable for carrier use, and interest in doing the same with the Spitfire was renewed. Trials with a Spitfire equipped with an arrestor hook had been made in late 1939, and a design was made of a Spitfire with folding wings as well as the arrestor hook. In February 1940, the Admiralty sanctioned the production of 50 Spitfires with folding wings, but the order was cancelled by Winston Churchill. At the time, Churchill was the first Lord of the Admiralty. He feared that the order would reduce the ability to produce land-based Spitfires, which were in high demand at the time. In late 1941 the question was assessed by the Admiralty again, and 48 Spitfire Mark V-Bs were converted to have arrestor hooks. These Spitfires became the Seafire Mark I-B. The lower rear of the fuselage was strengthened and an A-style arrestor hook was added. After some testing, it was found that further strengthening of the fuselage was needed. Another 118 Mark I-Bs were modified from Spitfire Mark V-Bs. These aircraft had the additional strengthening incorporated. They were also equipped with naval high-frequency radio equipment and IFF equipment, as well as a Type 72 homing beacon. The instruments were recalibrated to read knots and nautical miles instead of miles per hour and miles. The armament was two 20mm Hispano cannons and four 7.7mm Browning machine guns. An extra fuel tank could be carried under the fuselage. The first deliveries were made in June 1942. The Seafire F Mark IIc was based on the Spitfire Mark V-C. It was equipped with catapult spools, and a single slinging lug on either side of the fuselage, just behind the engine bulkhead. Three subtypes were produced, the F Mark IIc, the Fighter Reconnaissance FR Mark IIc and the L Mark IIc. The engine of the L version was adapted to provide greater power at low altitudes. The 2C was the first model to be deployed operationally in large numbers. 30 Seafire Mark III without folding wings were also produced. Seafire F Mark III was developed from the Mark IIc, but it had manually folding wings. It used the more powerful Merlin 55 engine, and some subtypes used the Merlin 55M. The model also had Aero V air filters and six stack ejector type exhausts. It used the shorter, Lightweight Hispano Mark V cannon, and overload fuel tank fittings were added in the wings. 1,220 F Mark III's were produced, making it the most produced Seafire model. The Seafire Mark XV was the next version. This version had the airframe, wings and fuel tanks of a strengthened Mark III, but other parts were from the Spitfire Mark VIII. It was powered by a Griffin 6 engine. The last 30 Mark 15s were fitted with a blown teardrop cockpit canopy, and had a cut-down fuselage. 390 Mark 15s were produced. This model performed poorly on carrier decks, the slipstream of the propeller made the aircraft difficult to control during takeoff. The Seafire F Mark 17 was a modified Mark 15, with a reinforced undercarriage. The Seafire F Mark 45 and FR Mark 45 were the next versions. They used the Griffin 60 engine with a two-stage, two-speed supercharger. The next versions, the F Mark 46 and the FR Mark 46 was a Spitfire F Mark 22 modified to naval standard, without folding wings. It had the teardrop canopy and cut down rear fuselage, and had an extra fuel tank in the rear. The final Seafire version was the F Mark 47 and FR Mark 47. The Mark 47 was considered the best version, most suitable for carrier operations. The version saw combat during the Malayan Emergency in 1949, and in the Korean War in 1950. But in 1951, all sea fires were withdrawn from frontline service. While the Supermarine Spitfire was considered a great fighter, the Sea Fire actually suffered many losses due to heavy landings on carrier decks. The narrow undercarriage track made it unsuited for carrier operations, and it was difficult to land on a carrier. 
The first combat use of the Seafire was in World War II during the Allied landings in North Africa in 1942. In 1943, the Seafire was used to cover the Allied invasion of Sicily, and later to cover the invasion of Italy. During the Italy operation, half of the Seafires of the task force were inoperable within four days. Seafires were also used in the Far East, for instance to cover the Allied landings at Rangoon, and to counter Japanese kamikaze attacks during the Okinawa landings. The Royal Canadian Navy, the French Navy and the Irish Air Corps also operated Seafires. In total 2,646 Supermarine Seafires were produced.